Monday, hey everybody, tech news. There's a lot going on in the world, tech news. Tech news is where we are today. You want, you want other news? Everywhere else, okay? Tech news. You ready? You ready for news? Okay, let's do that. Let's talk about news, tech news. After I tell you about today's video sponsor, because you might be finding yourself working from home a bit more, in which case you have a work laptop, you have a desktop, you have your all your stuff set up, and you wanna keep everything as manageable as possible, which is where today's video sponsor, Synergy, comes in because you can just control your keyboard and mouse from one center location. Whether you're on Windows, whether you're on Mac, whether you're on Linux, if you install Synergy, you can control the keyboard and mouse on multiple devices with ease instead of having a complicated KVM switch or something where you just need to have multiple keyboard and mice. Or even more nice, you can just put your laptop over here, look at the screen, and then use your mouse from your desktop over on the keyboard that, or over on the laptop that's like way over freaking yonder. That's it's the most beautiful thing. You don't have to keep everything in a central location. You can just kind of make mix and match it whichever way you want to go. And if you use the link in the video description, you can pick up Synergy either for the normal price of $29, which is not a subscription fee. Just buy it. You get what you pay for. It. You own the software. Genius stuff. Okay, what are we in 2000? Where you could actually own your software? It's beautiful. I love the nostalgia there. And then also in case you need SSL encryption, they do have a pro version as well. Check the link in the video description for that. Now let's jump in into the tech news because while the world is so anticipatory of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, we have a dark horse in this race of the next gen consoles. Reese, do you know who's coming out with the console? Rumored, you ready for it? Sega. Sega? Yeah. You wanna hear the specs? of the next-gen Sega console. Hit me. 12 teraflop GPU, 8 core 16 thread Zen 2, 1 terabyte NVMe SSD, okay? Tower style like the NZXT H1, okay? What the hell? You wanna know what's going down? What? Apparently, according to rumors, so take this with a huge grain of salt, on Sega's 60th anniversary on June 3rd, which is this coming Wednesday, they are going to be announcing the Sexbox Series X, or Sega Xbox Series X, because in order for Microsoft and Sega to resurge in Japan, Sega is going to be branding a Series X as their console, hopefully to increase sales in Japan. So the next gen Sega console is the Xbox Series X. It's kind of cool, but also kind of really lame. What yeah. is going on? We'll find out on Wednesday if this is true, but the Sega Series X seems to be what is the new brand merger between Sega and Microsoft because the Xbox has notoriously done a horrible in Japan where it is just PlayStation and Nintendo country out there. Nobody else matters. I mean, you're trying to get Microsoft to come in. It's not working. So Sega expected to make an announcement on Wednesday regarding the Sega Xbox or the sex bot. But while we're on the topic of the Series X, you want to know the beautiful part of the fact that we're getting gameplay footage, okay? We had that inside Xbox event where we got all of the gameplay footage, yes? Guess what it was running on, Reese? You, okay, Series X gameplay. Guess what it was running on? The Series X? <laughs> it was running on a PC <laughs> with a 2080 Ti. Yeah, so, uh, you know, next-gen console graphics are just PC graphics right now. Obviously the price disparity comes into that where like the Xbox Series X should be like five to $750, whereas the 2080 Ti by itself is $1,200. So there's that, but yeah, even the Series X next gen console announcement can't come without the fact that PC already literally has nearly everything that they're hyping up. Speaking of hyping up, Sony confirmed on Friday that we are indeed getting a PlayStation event on June 4th. We're expecting that the console itself might be unveiled, maybe get pricing, but more than likely just going to be a lot of gameplay announcement, game announcements that are coming out. And from what we're hearing behind the scenes, a lot of developers are more excited for the PlayStation 5 than they are for the Series X for a whole host of reasons. We'll have to wait and see if that's actually true. And Sony coming out and saying that every PlayStation 4 title that releases from July 13th has to be able to run on PlayStation 5 as well, leaving it up to the developers, which is a far cry from Xboxes. like, hey, we're doing it at the hardware level. Sony's like, screw y'all, devs, you gotta do the hard work. But with that, they're also taking a key strategy when it comes to the PlayStation 5, which is there's gonna be exclusives, which 
I think makes sense, but might un might rustle some jimmies of PlayStation 4 owners. Might give Microsoft fanboys a reason to poke fun at Sony people who aren't won't be able to play PlayStation 5 games on their PS4, even though Series X should be backwards compatible where you can pick it up on the Xbox One X. Anyways, Sony uh, not planning on creating PS5 exclusive games, which makes sense to me. I don't understand why this would be a huge controversy. Obviously, developers such as CD Projekt Red and Ubisoft and others have come out and said that they're gonna have cross-generation for a little while. And if you pick it up on the PS4, it'll be able to play on the PS5, but games that can only be enjoyed on the PS5 will be coming. Duh, so glad that's news. And rumor for this coming Thursday is that Silent Hill will be unveiled. It's kind of cool. And that Resident Evil 8 will be unveiled later in the month. Silent Hill obviously been a big conspiracy theory by a lot of people who want the game to come out. There's been talks of Kojima acquiring it. There's been talks of Sony acquiring it outright. Konami coming out and being like, ah, no, 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 shish. Silent on that hill. I had to, I had to go there. And Atari kind of has to release their crowdfunded console that they promised would come out a long time ago. We did a video on this when I was in the United States two years ago, okay? Link right up there. Check that video. Look at look at Brett road trip and Brett hectic stuff Anyways, the Atari VCS is supposed to actually ship this month They're expecting to ship 500 units out of the you know other 11,590 that they sold they'll ship 500 supposedly so in case you purchased a VCS for whatever Reason of wanting the box I guess because it's not going to do anything that an emulator can't do so I don't know, man. And I don't know what to make of the XT chips from AMD. Are they real? Are they not? Is it rumor? Is it fluff? Or is it true? Well, there has been an early listing by a French retailer who shows the pricing of the 3900 XT, 3800 XT, and 3600 XT at a nominal cost increase over their non-XT brethren, which is just going to be to the tune of like 10 to 20 euro, which isn't horrible. However, once again, take early retail listings of this kind of stuff with a huge grain of salt. We've already seen listings of the PlayStation 5 and the Series X at various retailers and to like vari variable levels of trustworthiness. So we'll see, we'll see. It's been listed, but that doesn't mean it's confirmed just because it gets listed. But what has been listed and what is confirmed is there is a massive, massive price drop on the Threadripper chip, the 3990X, which is AMD's Behemoth 64 core 128 thread CPU, which basically is just a massive, massive chip. Anyways, normally retails for $3,990. It's currently on sale for $3,450 or $540 off. You can pick up the chip and a motherboard for less than the chip used to cost. So in case you wanna do that, we have an Amazon affiliate link down below in the video description. But what you won't find in the video description is how to buy these AMD keycaps, which apparently was in a giveaway that was happening. And this is like the ultimate AMD fanboy stuff. So it was a power colored sponsored giveaway with AMD goodness and you'll never get it. But hopefully AMD will sell it because leave a comment down below in case you actually want these keycaps and you want AMD to make them. Let's get fan uproar over the fact that people want this. I'm sure there's a lot of people who would absolutely want a shill board. And you can no longer shill for the 9900K. I'm looking around for the box. I don't think I have it with me. Intel canceling the dodecahedron packaging of the 9900K because it's just too gosh dang bulky and hard to ship. And now that the 10 series is out, it's not gonna be the primary seller. So cutting down on shipping costs on the last gen CPU is just a good idea for them. So the specialty dodecahedron is dead. I have mine. Mine's kind of dead. I've broken it. I've dropped it a lot. It still holds up because you can just put it in the clamshell, but like my internal bits, the, the plastic's gone. I shipped it across the world, okay? I brought it with me when we moved from South Africa. Ridiculous, but across the world is where the SpaceX astronauts went. They went up Kerchu. That happened this past weekend on Saturday. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get to go to the secondary launch, but SpaceX successfully launching the first commercial manned flight to the International Space Station with the astronauts on board. They took off successfully. Rocket didn't blow up. Rocket made it successful back to the cargo ship and the astronauts made it up to the ISS totally safe everything's good there I just think this article from WCCF tech had the most hilarious headline for me might not be for anybody else but SpaceX makes history Dragon 2 lets astronauts from America board ISS and I just in my mind it conjured up like oh what happens if they didn't let them on board the ISS like they're in the crew dragon and it's like 
No. No, we see what's going down in America. You guys aren't allowed in here, okay? And then they just... I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. That's, that's what that headline conjured up in my mind. That's not what it means. I just, but while SpaceX had huge success with the Crew Dragon launch, with the commercial space flight going on, it's a new era of commercial flight. Actually, it was reported that SpaceX's flight to get people to the ISS is only $55 million, whereas Boeing was $90 million. So SpaceX just remarkably cheaper than uh, space flight used to be. But while SpaceX had huge success with the launch on Friday, they kind of didn't which is because their new Starship prototype exploded. They were doing a static fire test and the thing just, it got out. It got out as fast as it could. It yeeted its bits and bobs everywhere, caught on fire, as have nearly every other Starship prototype that has been out there. SN5 uh, build is ready for testing now. But obviously with explosions like this, when people aren't around, it's good for data, it's good for science. Blowing things up is good for science, kids. And what hasn't been blown up is the OnePlus and McLaren partnership. It has ended amicably, or when the contract expired, McLaren dropping OnePlus from their website of partners. And that's just because as OnePlus has come out, said, yeah, the contract's over. We're, we're not gonna make any more phones with McLaren. So like we, we did what we wanted to do with them. Stop trying to make a big deal out of it which is what Google's doing with Android 11 beta. They were gonna make a big deal. They're gonna have a beta launch show event party going down. It's supposed to be at Google I.O. Obviously that got canceled. Then it was supposed to be its own thing. And now it has been postponed because as Google said, now is not the time to celebrate. But you might celebrate if you have Google Stadia because with June, Google Stadia adding five new games, five free games to the pro lineup. The list includes Get Packed, Little Nightmares, Panzer Dragon, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, and Super Hot. So in case you have Stadia Pro, which is probably like one person in our audience, you have five new free games. Also, Reese has it, so he's... Maybe. Did, oh, did, are you in the paying stage? So you're not paying for it? Oh, okay. Get the free games, Reese. And you might be able to get some free money. And by free money, I mean you already spent your money on a Western Digital hard drive, which in case it had SMR, there are now multiple class action lawsuits being levied against Western Digital for the fact that they used SMR on their NAS drives. Obviously, you can check this out in case you're interested. Get like three bucks, but make the lawyers who are doing it very rich and make Western Digital think twice about not disclosing the fact that they use technology that should have been disclosed in their NAS hard drives. And you know what needs to be disclosed? This last article is actually probably one of the most important articles that we have today, which is do not, if you are on Android, install this wallpaper because it will brick your device. Have you heard about this, Reese? There is an image that is going around that people are installing as their wallpaper and it is soft bricking the Android devices, put, putting it in a permanent boot loop, unless of course you can like change the bootloader, in which case you would have to do all of the hacky jacky stuff there. That's not a word. I should, probably shouldn't say that again. Anyways, apparently the image is breaking devices because of a color space issue. It's using the RGB color space instead of sRGB and Android 10 can't convert it. And so it's creating a huge issue, even though Android 11 preview can convert it to sRGB, Android 10 can't. So it is crashing a ton of devices. So again, don't, don't test this. I, I'm gonna leave links in the video description for you to inform yourself on this. But don't do it. Don't don't be the person to be like, ha ha, I wonder if it, oh, I lost my phone. Don't be that guy, okay? And don't be the guy who's sitting at your desk with multiple keyboards and mices and just being like, ha ha, I'm a hacker because I can use multiple things at once. No, simplify your life with Synergy. Use the link in the video description, pick up Synergy, get down to one keyboard and mouse and control multiple devices. Mac, Linux, Windows, doesn't matter. Get it all set up. Simplify your life with Synergy. And simplify your life by being done with this episode of Hot News. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys. Obviously, things are chaotic right now. And I aim to make things worse by having chaotic energy. It's kind of who I am. So, bye. <laughs>